What are you doing, man? Shut up. I'm back. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Shoot, I'm back. Test in tune. Test in tune. Boy, I'm shaking like a leaf right now. Look at that. Woo. What's going on, guys? We're back. And uh, got a Yamaha, what is it, LS2000? I think it is, 1999, something like that. Yeah. And, uh, we're out here in the river right now. This is Chris's boat. And uh, this thing's fast, man. This thing is ridiculous fast. It's about 62 miles an hour. And uh, <clears throat> two GP1200s. But I figured, you know, he's going to do all the seats and stuff on this. I figured, hell, we got to make a video on this thing. A lot of video work to be done. Look how beautiful it is out here. You got a nip? That's actually pretty nice. You got a nip? No nip. Shaking. We just had a little. There's a, uh, <clears throat> a little just a little problem here in the back. One of the jet pumps. It's got these clean out plugs. And uh, so when we had her wide open, that jet force comes blasting right up, blew that plug right out. Ben actually worked on this boat. Ben. Blew that fucking thing right out of there. Ben with his crazy super jet. He uh, he worked on this for Jim, and then uh, Chris is buying it from Jim. So we're out here playing with it today. It's got a lot of oil in here. And uh, she needs to be blown out. It's got the oil injections working. Might be a little out of adjustment, but uh, she needs a good wide open throttle run. Right now we're just out here chilling. What do you think of this thing so far, Chris? Nice. It's gonna be fast. You think we should cut the water boxes off, make it loud? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This thing, man, this thing will get right out of the water when you punch it though, with both engines. The ones, the ones dragging a little bit, it needs to, it needs to be blown out, but as soon as I did that, that clean out plug blew right out the back. So I guess the clean out plug that's back there, I'll show you a video on that later. Uh, it doesn't really fit in there all the way. So you got all the jet thrust comes right out the top, blows the back open, motor shut off because of the safety switches, and then uh, you're in the back fixing it. But it won't sink like that, so that's good. Brand new radio in there, we got speakers, brand new radio. Plenty of, plenty of beer holders here. Oh yeah, what a remote. Oh, that's from the old one, the Kenwood. Bimini top's in good shape. Yeah, we just gotta get a Yeah, gotta get a cleat to hold that. Uh, <clears throat> we just kind of threw the stuff in the front there. Lusting her out. They run good. a little bit. I think it's got some built up oil in there.
What do you think, Chris? Oh, yeah, it, 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 so here's here's what we're going to show you right now. Um, <clears throat> here's the problem we have. Grab that. All right, so these are uh, like clean outs for the pumps. And what happens is when when the Ben worked on it, he noticed this problem that so basically if you want to get to the uh, from my understanding I guess now we're Yamaha and see you guys Chris yeah so what happens is see right down there is the pump well this thing this thing is supposed to go like this and it clips in well when I stabbed it today with both motors what happened that damn yeah. thing blew out man see so there's it's supposed to be you can get to the, the back of the impeller and clean it out. This one's froze in there, but I think this is the wrong one because this is different. It doesn't have the push lock. or I think they're supposed to thread in. If you have any ideas, please comment because what we're going to do is we're going to put a plate over this. See, it's got this kind of thing here. These go over the top, and then it, it's got a bar that goes across, and that, that keeps it from popping out. But, man, that thing's shot way out. And as soon as this opens, as soon as this door opens, these interlock switches shut the motors off. So that thing popped open. it. There's no latch either, but I mean, uh, you know, so that's um, that's what we're working on here. I think what we're probably going to do is we're going to do it the Sebastian Blucher way, just make a plate. Uh, make a plate right here and screw that thing on there so it never comes out again. I don't know. I don't think we ever need this. It does have an oh shit bar. All right. Um, GP 1200s. Two, three cylinders. Um, Ben worked on these. Ben did uh, fixed uh, oil injection and, and uh, some other stuff. One had like a rat's nest in there so the water wasn't pumping through. When I first looked at this about two years ago, I did compression tests. I think they were like 135 every cylinder. Um, and um, so it was overheating even on the hose. So Ben, Ben's a Yamaha guy. Ben does a lot. He, he took all that stuff off and cleaned it out. You know, the manifold on the other side and... Uh, so it pumps water now and they just need to be ran man there's there's you didn't put extra oil in here in the gas with the oil injection keep in case the oil injection failed so i'd smoke it but she needs to be cleaned out she needs to be held wide open and just full send right full send but um trailer's in good condition look at that what do you think about that trailer chris oh yeah. yeah so that's what you look at the radio and the speakers are awesome um Got the, the trailer here with like the swivels. You really turn that thing. Didn't put a brand new winch on there. Never seen salt water till today. Lights work. Um, nice trailer. It's got the side steps on it. So, um, yeah, man. This thing's pretty rad. And you know what? We are taking this thing. Chris, I'm going to tell you right now, we're taking this thing to the monster hole. Oh, yeah. We're, you ever seen full sand in a monster hole with a boat like this? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I tried full send today. I was driving it. And um, when that thing blew out, it scared me for a second. But, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, wait a second, Chris. It's been a long friggin' time. This video is brought to you by... Fireball. Ding. Look, the, look at the clock, man. Look at this. So he hangs it. What do you think about the upside down banner? You want to explain that? You want to explain that, Chris? Well, that's what happens when air set your house till one in the morning. Oh, we were pretty busted up, man. And somehow we had to get some jet ski parts out of there, and that's what happened. Poor clots. So overall, man, let's give them an idea of what's going on with these uh, these uh, jet skis over here, huh? Give me a cigarette. Look right here. This is coming soon to a theater near you. I'm so I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Look at this, Chris. You should be ashamed of yourself, bro. At least when he gets done cutting this rubber tree, you won't have all this bullshit anymore. Yeah, you know, that's, that's a fucking that's a sea grape, isn't it? Yeah. You can't just cut uh, those down. Or mangroves, what it is. Look wow. At his roof, though, bro. Holy shit! Look at the. It's growing into his roof. If wow. I would, if I would take it out. You don't want to touch it. Wow, look at that, guys. Wow. 
Look at this growing into his roof. Oh my god, that's a mess. You couldn't pay me a thousand dollars to take that out. He's gonna need a new roof. So, you want to give us a synopsis of what's happening here? Uh, Lighter? What's happening here, Chris? Go ahead, tell him. Well, once we get Mama on the boat, that's the idea. And we get, she wants to get comfortable driving at first. But then we can get her on the boat, and then she can make the weight, and then we send it. Yeah. Oh, send it. Look, so that one's that one's got the uh, that's Ryan's old one. We got the uh, my 657 I built. I put in there years, a couple yeah, years ago. Here's mine. Is look at this. This was brand new, bro. Look at this. What a shame. Oh man. Just wet wow, what a shame! Spots out, That's terrible. All the spots are gone. Where's your jet ski? <laughs> so here's what's happening. It looks like a mess, and you know why? Because the the uh, motor's locked up after I. So here's what happened. Unfortunately, I have to say, the WSM crank finally failed the last time I was out. I sw I put that thing. Remember, I held that crank wide. I mean, I had that motor wide open. And um, they said it won't fail, even if it's modified. Well, Ben had said it was my fault for not lock tighten that uh, flywheel onto that crankshaft, but it took the whole took the end of the crankshaft right off. Huh? Because we did. Huh? Because we did. Of course we well, did. no, but but I but see what happened was me and Ben went out and it wasn't running right because it was off time then. I shared the key and I brought it home and and but I thought we impacted it. We impacted him. Remember we had all the lock tight. Well, we did. We might we might have been pretty cooked. That's a, hey, these things went together on Fireball and they actually worked for a long time. That motor's got eight hours on it, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna rebuild that. We're gonna take that out. I'm gonna redo it. I got the bottom end. I'm yeah, just gonna. Bottom, I'm just gonna take that top end, put it on the bottom end, and then Chris's is good. He's just probably just needs carb kits. You didn't get to test out your damn sponsors, did you? No, I put these sponsors. Three hundred and sixty dollars adjustable work sponsors. Never even touched the water. I put them on. Went out there. It wouldn't run. This is your trailer. No, is this your trailer? Yeah, this is yours. There's no lights on it. Almondo. We bought this from Almondo. Hashtag Almondo. Where are you at, Nick? Where's Nick? Mm. Fucking Nick. Yeah, he's, he's, he's active on the page. Well, hey, I, hey, you, we've been super busy. Super busy but you guys keep the Sebastian Blue Crew Facebook page going. That's for you guys. That ain't for us. That's for you to. That's for you guys. So I'm glad we have. We have 600 members today. Do you know that? I think that's a milestone that requires a nip. You want you want to drink to that? Yeah. Anyway, that's for you guys, man. I may not be on there active all the time, but you guys can trade parts and do whatever. It's a cool little, uh, you know, um, group. But yeah, that's the give me the letter. That's what we're looking at right now. Uh, Chris has probably needs carb kits and uh, empty the fuel. It's been over a year since me and Chris drove these. And uh, purple power. What's your boat called? Rocket ship. Rocket How much fireball you had today, son? This fucking guy here. That one, that one, that one. All we need on this one is the e-box slot. No, the e-box is in there. It's the the, the mounting plate. plate from the 657 to a 720. The mounting plate didn't bolt yeah, up. If you guys ever gonna do a 720 to a frickin' or yeah. Well, first we're gonna wonder why we hell why the hell we put a 657 in there because it has three hours on it. And, you know, we don't look what happens when you get speed. Because it was spare motor. Yeah, but look what happens when you get speed like this. Shit breaks. There's a big saying in jet skis. I can't remember where I learned this. Reliability, fast, and cheap. You can only pick two. You want it reliable and fast, it's not going to be cheap. You want it cheap and reliable, it's not going to be fast. That is true. You, 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 want it, you want it fast and cheap, it ain't going to be reliable. So you pick two. So what happens is, uh, that we put the 657 exempt motor ran good. I broke the hull by accident. So we figure, you know that one? Hey, you guys, hey, anybody want to come ride with us, dude, one day? I tell you what, you put gas in these. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Mail time. Mail time. That's what we're working on right here. We got the rocket ship. That's gross. So here's my bottom end. Tell us about that, Chris. Tell us about the bottom end. Ready. That, that came out of Ryan's motor. Remember, we put the, the cylinders were egg-shaped or whatever. It was a brand-new piston that never really ran. That bottom end's OEM. It's ready to go. How smooth that baby is. Oh, that crank is nice. That's an OEM crank, dude. So I can put that. I can, I can pour the coal to that I thing. I'll clean that is. I'll pour the coal to that thing. All I got to do is get my top end on that bottom end. 
and uh, we got, I mean, we got parts. Oh, that's the fireball here. Yeah. We got parts under under the upside down sign. Oh, Cheers, guy. Hey, Ray, you want to say hi to Ron and Barb? This fucking guy won't leave me alone. He's like, we love you. We love we love you, guy. But I feel so bad. I know. He's like, are you still alive? What happened? Dude, it's called life, Ron. He knows. I answer your wife all the time, but it's just you. You're, 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 but. <laughs> Ron and Barb. Who else have we been missing out on? Oh, fucking Mikko. Mikko. Mikko Tools. Dublin. Mick O'Toole. Ba uh, Barbara, his wife. Was it Barbara? And his daughter is that Mick O'Toole. You Mick O'Toole watches my ham radio channel. Does he? Yeah, it's just just FYI. Look in the link in the description. You'll see the other channel I work on. Yeah, 127,000 cool. subscribers. Mick O'Toole from Dublin, Ireland. Right here, dude. Dublin. Dublin. Dublis. Anyways, we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, you wanna you wanna sign us off here on the rocket ship? Look at that. That thing's awesome, dude. Back her in and fuck. Well, we gotta get Lexus started. I got, I got an interview at 3 o'clock on, uh, not an interview, a uh, another YouTube collaboration at 3 o'clock. And and here I am trying to figure out how to start this piece of shit. So, you wanna say, you wanna say goodbye? See ya! Wait till next weekend. We're gonna, it's, it's full send. Full send that. We get that thing done, we're, I tell you what, we're just, we're just gonna, with a bottle of Fireball in our hand, wide open. Never drink and drive a boat. <laughs>